I love fishing and being out on the water is just something I've always loved, but boats are kind of expensive. So I thought, well, this is buoyant. Why not try to grow a boat? My name's Katie Ayers, and I grow things out of mushrooms, <laughs> basically. Not just mushrooms, but mycelium, the unseen vegetative body of a fungus that forms mushrooms. This is the hard part. Uh-oh, I might be too close. I grow things out of mushrooms because I think that it can really impact the way that we interact with our environment and just our job as environmental stewards here on this planet to keep us from crashing and burning, essentially. It smells very earthy, like a mushroom. <laughs> Inspired by an English paper she wrote on sustainability, Ayers took a particular interest in mycology, the scientific study of fungi. The fact that there's so much that we don't know about fungi, it's like this giant mystery. They estimate there's about 1.5 million species of fungi, yet we've only identified a little less than 200,000 at this point. What we do know is that the mycelium breathes air. It creates a network of thread-like material interconnected to make a watertight biomaterial that feels a lot like skin. Every time we take it out, it uh, usually grows a few mushrooms on it. Ayers worked with a local mushroom grower to design the build of the canoe and to figure out how to direct the growth of the mycelium. We made a wood steamer out of a downspout and then built a skeleton and then paper mache around that to create our molds and then grew it in a hammock for about a week. Took it out and let it dry in the sun and then next thing you know, we were on the water. I was a little nervous. Uh, we definitely tried to push it underwater at first, but it popped up like a beach ball. So it would be hard to sink that thing. It floats. Catch more rays. And it's in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's longest fungal mycelium canoe. I love it. It's definitely a workout, too. The goal wasn't just to make it into the record books. The canoe was meant to inspire people to consider the possibilities. You could grow a boat, you could grow packaging, chairs, lampshades, insulation, fireproofing. There's so many things. One of my favorites is bobbers. I really want to grow some bobbers for people to take out. A little bit less garbage in the lake would not be a bad thing by any means. <laughs> this is the fun part. Ayers hopes to one day have a doctorate in mycology. Until then, She's using what she's learned with the canoe to develop grant-funded research that involves creating hotels for bees. We're focusing on conservation biology of our native pollinators. Pollinator numbers are dwindling rapidly, and we have over 400 species of bees and wasps that do pollination here in Nebraska, so we thought we could provide them some habitat with a native fungus. So we're growing bee mycotels, which is a bee hotel made out of a fungus. It's gone everywhere. People from different countries are reaching out, and it feels really good to help push this movement, a micro-revolution almost, forward. I want people to experiment and realize that there's so much that mushrooms can do, and here in the Western world, we tend to be a little mycophobic. When Really, we should look to mushrooms and learn to love them a little more. <laughs>